Hi, in the previ previous video, I kind of showed how to lay out an image, kind of an input area for the user and then uh, a list viewer. And now I'm gonna kind of actually put some real data in here um, so it looks like a, like a real app. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this input box a little bit. And whenever I click on a component, the properties for it, for it show, shows up over here. And what I wanna do is put a hint in here and I'm just going to say something like post info um, about Coal Valley supplies. All right. And, you know, essentially this is just a prompt that the user is going to see, um, you know, so that they know what to type. And you can barely see this guy over here on the, on the actual app that's, that's being, that's running. So I need to change, you know, kind of the, the text color. There's a couple of ways you want to ch change the color of the text. One is the color that shows up when the user actually types. And you can notice it changed over here on my screen, um, but the hint didn't change over on the, the app that's actually running. Okay, and the, the way to change that is if you go to advanced, and it's actually not in text style, but in styling. And if you scroll down in styling, there's actually a, a hint color, which is, can be different than the, the text color. And the hint is just basically what appears when, you know, before the user um, clicks on the uh, text input box to, to add something. And let's see if I can find the hint text color. There it is. And I'll just make it the same color. Okay, so now, you know, when the user sees the app, you know, actually in the running app, it's going to be, the hint's going to be blue. And then even when I start typing, if I started entering information, it's going to be blue, blue as well. Okay, so that's just a little, you know, user interface stuff. And there's a lot of details you got to deal with um, to make things look right. The only other thing I'm going to do on this, on this end is change the text and the button. And I just want to make it say something like, you know, post it. And, you know, so now we've got an app that's kind of looking, looking pretty good. You know, obviously I could spend more time to, to beautify it. The, the next thing I want to do is, is make it so some data shows up in the list viewer. Because right now you can't really tell what's supposed to happen. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the blocks. And this is where the interactive behavior of the app happens. And this is where I'm going to actually put some data into that list box. The first thing I'm going to show you is what's called a variable. And think of a variable as like the kind of hidden data of an app. I mean, it might show up in the app, but think of it as kind of the hidden memory, all right? And I'm just gonna call this variable posts. And I'm gonna over, go over to the list drawer and grab this thing called a list. And it comes up with kind of default values, you know, one, two, and three, which I don't want in my list. What I want in my list is some sample data you know, something the user might enter. And we're just gonna use that for our prototype, right? Our prototype is just gonna show people what our app might look like. And for now, we're just gonna fake it with some, some kind of sample data. So I'm gonna go over to the text block and grab these kind of blank text blocks. And I'm gonna have three of them. All right, and I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna say, okay, I don't know, TP at Walgreens. Um, and let's say, I don't know, 328.20 at uh, 3 p.m. Okay, and then the next one might be wipes available at um, Coal Hardware. And I don't know, maybe that's 327 at 2 p.m. All right, and then finally, um, we'll say a sell at Walgreens, and that might might have been on 3:26 at 1 p.m. Okay, so I've got this variable. It's got this kind of fake data in it. You know, later I'm going to show you how to make it so whatever the user enters goes into this list. But for now, we'll use this fake data. And the last thing I got to do is I've got to use my list viewer. And essentially, whoops, sorry, there's the wrong block. But essentially what I got to do 
is make it so this list viewer is going to show the items um, from this list. I mean, a list viewer can show items from any list. And I want that, that, that to happen on whenever the screen opens. So as soon as the screen opens, I'm going to set the list viewer, which is this blank thing over here um, in my designer. I can see this list viewer, right? Um, and in my list viewer, I essentially want this variable called posts to appear in this list viewer. If I click on the variables drawer, I see a block, basically a reference to the variable called posts. I just drag it out, stick it in this text items, and uh, if you see back on the on the on the running app, all of a sudden my list shows up. Okay, so now I've got a, a an app that kind of looks like an app, right? It's got some data in it, even though it's fake. Um, it's got an input box. It's got a nice image. Um, now, if I click on the input box and enter something, and I click on post it, you know, notice my list doesn't change. So in the next video, I'll show you how to actually add interactive behavior to your app.